Welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Wyborny and this is Finding Factor Pairs, part four. In the last Finding Factor Pairs video, we completed the top half of the page. At the end of this video, your paper will look like this. Throughout this video, if you need more time at any point, simply pause the video and take as much time as you like. To prepare the paper, write these numbers and underline them too. Write 49 and underline it. Then write 54 and underline it. Now write 56, 63, 64, 72, and 81, which is the last one. Again, if you need more time, simply pause the video. Let's begin with the number 49. On your paper, write that we can think of 49 as 1 times 49 or 7 times 7. Those are all the factor pairs of 49. Let's move to the number 54. On your paper, write that we can think of 54 as 1 times 54 or 2 times 27 or 3 times 18 or 6 times 9. Those are all the factor pairs of 54. Let's move to the number 56. On your paper, write that we can think of 56 as 1 times 56 or 2 times 28 or 4 times 14 or 7 times 8. Those are all the factor pairs of 56. Let's move to the number 63. On your paper, write that we can think of 63 as 1 times 63 or 3 times 21 or 7 times 9. Those are all the factor pairs of 63. Let's move to the number 64. On your paper, write that we can think of 64 as 1 times 64 or 2 times 32 or 4 times 16 or 8 times 8. Those are all the factor pairs of 64. Let's move to the number 72. On your paper, write that we can think of 72 as 1 times 72 or 2 times 36 or 3 times 24 or 4 times 18 or 6 times 12 or 8 times 9. Those are all the factor pairs of 72. Finally, let's move to the number 81. On your paper, write that we can think of 81 as 1 times 81 or 3 times 27 or 9 times 9. Those are all the factor pairs of 81. These are all the key factors that we will list. Keep this paper in a place where you can find it easily because we will use it in future videos. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is Finding Factor Pairs, Part 4.